Hey everybody. All right, in this video, we're going to explain how to install Google Analytics and Google Search Console. All right. First thing you want to do is make sure you have a account with Google. You might want just a separate account for all your website stuff or just for the website project you're working on. Um, I have mine all together. And you're going to go and sign up for Google Analytics, which which is free to do if you have an account. You're going to click on Admin. Then over here, it lists some of your sites. And you're going to go down here and click on Create New Account. You'll get a page like this. And I like to, I like to copy and paste stuff so I don't get it wrong. And I'm going to say the account name is this site coolphotog.com, which is my kind of practice site. And I'll even put that as a website name. And the uh, URL. You'll select a category. This one's about hobbies. Here it is. Set the time. I'm on central time. Do all this stuff. Click down here and you get their terms. So you're going to accept that. And then they'll show you what your account is. So here's the tracking ID up here. I'm going to copy that. If you don't have WordPress, then you'll probably need to copy this code here and paste it into your, your website somehow. We're doing it with WordPress. So we're going to do that with a few plugins, right? Now, this is the plugin called All-in-One SEO Pack. There's Yoast SEO. There's a few others. I'm going to show you in this one and then this other one called Google Analytics. So you're going to scroll down to where it says Google Analytics ID, and you're going to paste in the one you got, and I tabbed off that field, I don't know why it moved, but you're going to go and fill in a few of these other things. Universal Analytics, uh, I usually check that, then you're going to put the domain in here. And that's it. As you leave all that blank. Then you'll save your settings, which is at the top here. Update options. Or the other way you can do it. Let's copy this again. Is there's a plugin called Google Analytics. And all you do is delete that and paste in your account. Hit save. And it's in there. Now, if you had a website, you wouldn't want to do it twice because you're going to get the code showing up twice, which isn't good. It's going to throw off your stats, possibly. But I just want to show you a couple of different ways. There's a few different plugins for WordPress that'll uh, get Google an Analytics on all your pages. They're all going to have a, a setting where you're going to put in this, this property ID. And you're just going to put that in and paste it in and hit save and you'll be good. And now we're going to go and show you how to set your site up with Google Search Console. It's pretty easy. Um, you're going to go, and, you know, get it, get an account. Make sure you have a same account as your Google Analytics. If you don't have a Search Console account yet, just search for it. Just type in Google Search Console. And I'll let you get in there and you're going to, this will be blank, but you'll click over here where it says add a property. Paste in the name of your website. Hit continue. From there, you've got a few options. The one that I like that pretty much foolproof, the way I always do it, is I use Google, or the HTML tag, or I'm sorry, I use the HTML file upload. All right. Now, it says I already did it because this is the second time I'm doing this video. But 
let's just say I haven't done it yet. What you do is you'll up to, you'll download this verification file, which I already have over here. You're gonna go into your hosting and you're gonna upload it. And I already have it uploaded. You hit verify. It'll say it's successfully verified your account. You'll have this going. Sitemaps, I already did that, but if you didn't have that in there, all you do is click on sitemaps, you hit add test sitemap. Your sitemap, which looks like this, should be your domain slash sitemap.xml. It's typically where it is. So you're just gonna put sitemap.xml right here. I already did it, but you'd hit submit and you'll start getting some stats like you see here. And that's all you do. That makes sure you know that Google can find every web every web page on your site. That's a good thing to have. Um, later you're gonna go in and look through things like crawl errors and stuff if you want, or search traffic. Okay. It's gonna be a great resource later on to see how um, people are getting to your website and even search words they're putting in and they don't get to your website yet, but that's a little later on. All right. If you guys haven't taken my course yet, seven days to get a website that makes some money, I suggest you do that. It's really cool. Putting a lot of work into it. A lot of good information. I've been doing this a while and I put together a free course just so everyone can learn how to have their own website that can make them some money on the side. So it's a really good program. So highly encourage you to do that. It's really good. Okay. Till next time. See you guys.